Hello, Dusklings! And welcome back. We're playing It Moves. I'm Eleanor. I'm Docs. And we're going to jump right into it because we cut out in a cutscene. And <laughs> this game is really good, so I want to see what's yeah. going on. I'm going to read this again. I don't remember if I read this. Um, I could hear the sheets twist and turn with increasing ferocity. Fear then gripped me, not like the subtle sense of an ease I had experienced earlier, but now potent, potent and terrifying. My heart raced as my eyes panicked, scanning the almost impenetrable darkness. I let out a cry. As most young boys do, I instinctively shouted on my mother. I could hear something stir on the other side of the house, but as I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me, the bunk bed suddenly started to shake violently as if gripped by an earthquake, scraping against the wall. I could hear the sheets below me thrashing around as if tormented by malice. I did not want to jump down to safety as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me, pulling me into the darkness, so I stayed there, white knuckles clenching my own blanket like a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? I cried and my mother consoled me. Tears of fear followed by relief streamed down my face. Yet though all of my horror yet through all of the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was so upset. I cannot explain it, but it was though whatever had been in that bunk would return if I ever so much as spoke of it. Whether that was the truth I did not know, but as a child I felt I didn't mean to hit the space. It's okay. My mother lay in the empty bunk, promising to stay there till morning. I remember the next day wanting, wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in that suffocating room. Oh, this is a good story. It was a Saturday, and I played outside quite happily with my friends. Sorry. Although our house was not large, we were lucky to have a long, sloping garden in the back. We played there often, as much of it was overgrown and we could hide in the bushes. Climb through the huge sycamore tree which towered above all else and easily imagine ourselves in the throes of a grand adventure. As fun as it all was, occasionally my eye would turn to the small window in the... Uh, but for me, that thin boundary was looking glass. Was a looking glass into a strange, cold pocket of dread. Outside the lush green surroundings of our garden filled with smiling faces of my friend. Inside, the feeling of something in that room, watching me play, waiting for the night when I would be alone, eagerly filled with hate. It may sound strange to you, but by the time my parents ushered me back into the room for that night, I said nothing. I didn't protest. I didn't even make an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. I still felt as if that thing would be enraged if I so much as spoke of it. Another night came. <laughs> Such a good story. Yeah. Save? Yes, yes, I think I will save. Hello. A banner from a long pole. It's too old and torn to make out details. A huge skull. <laughs> a banner on a long pole. Okay. Huh? What? Huge skull. Okay. The room just repeated itself. Can I go back? No. Okay, forward it is. Now the skull's eyes are glowing. Keep going forward. Nothing's changed. Well, I wasn't sure if, like... They're blinking faster now. I don't like that. He's late for the Macy's sale. He's angry. Okay, but... Nah. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. Make a song. 
Make a song! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Ventilation! What's that? I don't know. Doesn't say. Looks like just rusty machinery. Hmm. Well, hello! <laughs> oh! It says hello! I know! That's why I said it! I think the fan just started. Oh. Well, I know by the fact that the map stops scrolling that it doesn't go up any farther than that. So that's good. Go that way. Okay, that's a that's our little room. That's a room that has no purpose right now. Ugh. More songs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my jam. There's a. There's a th lever switch back there. there. Yeah. I wonder if when I clicked that, one of the gates went up. Maybe. Uh, nope, that one's closed. Still closed. Little room. God, if I had nightmares like this, I wouldn't want to sleep alone either. Yeah. I mean, seriously. He seems to have an industrial, like, theme to a lot of his dreams, though. Yeah. I wonder if that's leading to something particular. Could be. All of these bars, and I don't know what they're for. They're for making rad jams. Yeah. Hi! Do you want to be my friend? I just need to find which gate went up. You know, all these... Okay, you're wearing something on your head. You look like you're going to kill me. Looks like it's a bag on his head. It's Slender Man's cousin. Oh, I got really close to the mic there. I'm sorry. Slender Man's cousin, big head? Yeah, Slender Man cousin. I. <laughs> Slender Man cousin, me is. Going to assume that it's like the last place you saw him is the one that's going to open. Probably. Nope. Nope. Isn't there a gate over here though? Okay, there is a gate over there, but. Hello, Slenderman's cousin. Uh. We have a little bit more time. such a big place I don't remember like where everything I know is. it's kind of annoying okay that was nothing okay um we're actually going to end here and then pick up here in a little bit so that we can get hopefully through this puzzle here <laughs> hopefully uh Thank you for watching. If you liked, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and leave us a comment down below. Let us know if there's any games you want us to play. Um, I'm Eleanor. I'm Docs. Thanks for watching. <laughs>